from a self-defense per, uh, perspective, let's, let's kind of go over a real basic thing that I can do from guard. Uh, now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to assume whether the guard is open or closed. I, I, I found myself in, in, a, in a position where I'm in guard. Now, I really don't like the closed guard, obviously, because he can just rear up and punch. This space is a big problem. Now, the traditional advice would be to close this distance, right? And we can work from that. That's fine. However, for me, if I find myself here, I'm going to use my hands, and I'm going to make sure that I track this inside bicep control. So if he were to punch from here, I have this reaction, right? I, and I'm just going to create these rails so that if he goes to punch, it's really hard for him to land this because I'm just going to ride this rail here, ride this over here. I'm not hanging out here. So my goal is going to be for me to get up. The way for me to do this effectively is going to be this. I'm going to open my guard, and I'm going to shift my hips out to one side, and I'm going to put in this knee block. So I put in this knee block, and the knee has to be at this 45-degree angle. I don't want it to come across here, obviously, because then he's just going to crush and pass. So I, um, I maintain my foot over here on this hip a little bit, and I put this knee 45-degree. Again, my hands are doing work. I want to make sure that I'm tracking his, his inside uh, control here. I'm tracking this in here. Now, as soon as I have this, all I need to do is take this foot and put it on his hip. Right now, I'm going to start to disengage. What I do now is I use this as a feeler, and I get back on my back. My hands are still up. I'm going to rear back, and I'm going to kick super hard. So if I kick really hard to the face, really hard to the chest, I'm not trying to push him away. I'm trying to damage him, right? So I'm here. Here, foot on the hip. I don't want to get too far back. I can hang on to, I can get two on one on a wrist if I want. I don't have to. Here, and now I'm just going to send the kick hard to the face. So I'll send the kick hard to the face, kick him hard, and then I get to my technical stand up. I'm up. I can continue to fight or I can run away. If I'm in this position, <clears throat> And I go to put a knee block in, and he stands up at that moment. He, he posts to go punch. I just push, elevate my hips off the ground, and I'm pushing to keep him away, right? Now I can either guide him back in, foot on the hip, hold on, kick, 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 technical stand up, up and away. <clears throat> That's one way of dealing with an attacker on the ground. If I really just don't want to engage in grappling. I would rather hit him hard and disengage. Guys, if you want more self-defense tips and strategies, uh, and if you like how do we utilize certain techniques for self-defense, then go to getselfdefense.com.